Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on Build and Modify Process Diagram in Cell Designer. In this tutorial, we will learn to use macros, move components on the draw area, connect a reaction line around a species, align and extend a reaction line, and add a product and a reactive. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux Operating System 14.04, Cell Designer version 4.3 and Java version 1.7. To follow this tutorial, learners should be familiar with Undergraduate Biochemistry and Cell Designer Interface. If not, for relevant Cell Designer tutorials, please visit the Spoken Tutorial website. Let us begin. What you see here is a conventional diagram for alanine biosynthesis. Now, we'll use Cell Designer to create this process diagram. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T keys simultaneously. Now type dot forward slash run Cell Designer 4.3 and press Enter. Cell Designer window is now open on your terminal. Open a new file by pressing Ctrl N and name it Build and Modify Process Diagram. Keep the default width and height and click on the OK button. Now let us learn what are macros. Macros are frequently used component sets that help in drawing the diagrams easily. On the toolbar, click on the macros icon for catalysis and click on the draw area. We now have a macros catalysis reaction on the draw area. Let's learn to move all the components to another side of the draw area. For that, click on the edit menu and then click on select all. Alternately, you may press Ctrl A keys. All the components are now highlighted. Now, Click anywhere on the highlighted components and drag them to the desired location. Let's proceed. Click anywhere on the draw area to uncheck the highlighted components. Again, on the draw area, right click on the generic protein S1. Then click on the option Change Identity. In the class box, change the protein to simple molecule. Type the name as to keto isovalerate and then click on the apply button in the dialog box the same species exists click no however if you want to reflect the change to all components of the species click yes here i will click no observe the generic protein s1 is now a simple molecule named 2 keto isovalerate. I will drag the molecule to accommodate the name. Right click in the center of the endpoint, generic protein S1, which is a product. Change identity to simple molecule and name it valin. Click on the apply button. You have valin on the draw area. Next rename Catalyst S2. Right click on it and select Edit Protein. In the name field type Amino Transferase. Click on Update and close the dialog box. Drag the corner of the molecule to accommodate the name. Next, let's change the position of the linked reaction. Click in the center of the endpoint species, that is valin, and drag and drop at the desired location. Do the same with amino transferase. Observe that the linked reaction follows wherever the endpoint species moves. We will now learn how to connect a reaction line around a species. A reaction line can be connected to any of the 16 connection points around a species. I will show you how to do so. 
Open a new window by pressing Ctrl N. Name this file as Connection Points. Keep the default width and height and click on the OK button. On the draw area, draw two generic proteins and name them Protein 1 and Protein 2. In the main menu, click on the icon for State Transition. Then on the draw area, hover the mouse on Start Point Species, Protein 1. Observe that all 16 connection points are highlighted in grey color. Note that when the cursor is pointed to one of these connection points, it will change to blue color. Let's click on one of the connection points. In the same manner, hover the mouse on the endpoint species that is protein 2. Again, as explained above, click on the required connection point. A state transition reaction line is formed between the selected connection points. Next, we will align the reaction line. Click on the state transition reaction line between protein 1 and protein 2. Note that the two process nodes on the reaction line get highlighted. If we hover the mouse on either of the two process nodes, a plus sign appears. Click on one of the process nodes. Now drag and place the pointer on the preferred connection point. Click anywhere on the draw area to uncheck the highlighted process nodes. To extend or stretch the reaction line, first click on it. Now click on either of the process nodes located on the start point or end point species. Drag the mouse to stretch the reaction line till the preferred connection point. From here on, we will proceed with the process diagram. Let us come back to the Build and Modify Process Diagram window. Let's add a reactant and a product to the existing reaction. From the toolbar, click and place two simple molecules on the draw area. Name them Glutamate and 2-Oxoglutarate. Drag and place them adjacent to the simple molecules. 2 keto isovalerate and valine. As explained earlier, let us align the components on the draw area. From what was explained earlier, I have now completed aligning the components. On the toolbar, click on the icon for Add Product. Now hover the mouse on the state transition reaction between 2 keto isovalerate and valine. Click on the highlighted process node. Next, hover the mouse on 2 oxoglutarate. Click on any one of the 16 highlighted process nodes. Observe, a reaction line appears between straight transition and 2 oxoglutarate. Similarly, click on Add Reactant icon. Hover the mouse on glutamate and click on one of the 16 highlighted process nodes. Next, hover the mouse on the state transition reaction and click on the process node. Observe, a reaction line appears between straight transition and glutamate. We now have a complete catalysis reaction with a reactant and a product. I will align the reaction to accommodate other components in the process diagram. From the toolbar, Use the icons, state transition, simple molecule, generic protein and catalysis. This is the completed process diagram. To view it properly, go to View on the main menu bar and click on Zoom Fit. You now see the completed process diagram. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to use macros, move components on the draw area, connect a reaction line around a species, align and extend a reaction line, and add a product and a reactant. For the assignment, build a process diagram, 
for methionine biosynthesis using tools in cell designer explore the macros for gtp slash gd find out how to create a curve reaction line about the spoken tutorial project watch the video at the following link it summarizes the spoken tutorial project if you do not have a good bandwidth please download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates for those who pass an online test for more details please write to contact at spokentutorial.org spoken tutorial project is a part of talk to a teacher project and is funded by enemy ict mhrd government of india more information on this mission is available at the given link this is bella tony from iit bombay signing off thank you for joining